Hi all, welcome to Design Engineers Telugu. In this class, we will discuss how to create this object. Okay, so if you look at this object, to create this object, how many operations we have to use? We have to use three main operations. First one is this base. Second operation, this revolved portion. And then we have to make a slot these are the three main operations and then we have to make uh, some holes and uh, fillets charm for these are also we have to use okay so let us start from this base okay now so for this they have not given any dimensions so we can assume and create okay so first of all i'm creating this base so for this i'm going to get here in this i'm going to select this plane here I have to create a this base okay so here I am creating one rectangle like this okay so for this they have not given any dimensions right so we are assuming let us say this one is 200 and it should be symmetric about this vertical axis and then this height from here to here let us assume it is 70 and this height we can take 30 okay so total height I am giving 100 and then the chamfer chamfer I am giving here okay later also you can make but uh, in sketch itself I am creating chamfer distance method so if you select here you can get distance both sides okay so from here to here I am giving 30 this one I am making it as 50 same way we have to create for other side also it is 50 and this one is 30 and then exit or bench if you want to change the dimensions it's up to you you can change if you want here I am giving mirror extent and this length I am giving it as 80 or 70 then here I have to create this revolved portion right so for this I am taking a sketch on this plane Why? because it is at the middle middle of this object okay so I have selected that plane and then here I have to create that revolved portion so to maintain accuracy I am projecting this line and later I will convert this one into a reference one okay you can click on this one next here I am taking profile and I am starting exactly at the center of the object okay so you can see here it is exactly coincide with this vertical line okay and then here simply I am creating object like this later we can add dimensions for that see this base I'm making it as 35 and then this height I'm giving it as 10 and then here also I'm giving it as 10 and then this I'm giving it as 15 and then this length I'm giving it as 15 again okay this total height I can say 90 and then 
this height I'm giving it as 40 okay next click on exit workbench then click on shaft here it will ask for axis I am giving this vertical line as my axis and then click on OK. OK. Next, here we have to make a slot like this. OK. So for this, I am just selecting this front face. Here, instead of creating sketch again, I am just projecting this face. Means all these lines will get projected and then I will take offset and I will select all the lines and here I will click insert somewhere here and then we can give a dimension also. Suppose here if you want to maintain it as 15 you can maintain. You just uh, refer your drawing once. I will make it 10 only. Okay. If you give minus value, it will come inside. If you give plus value, it will go outside. So we need in as we need insert. I'm selecting like this. And then you can delete this original projected line. Okay. Now exit workbench. So total distance we have given as 70. I'm taking a pocket and I'm making it as 30. Okay, because here if you observe this slot this face is not at the end why because if, if you observe this hole here you can see this white color background right here we are unable to see okay that's why I'm saying that it is at the middle somewhere here because if it is at the end we can't see this white color background okay so that's why I am creating at the middle exactly. If they are given any dimension then it is fine. Then we can give the slot distance. But they have not given any dimension right. That is why we are assuming as it is at the center or middle. Okay. Next I want to make a mirror. Same slot I want to get other side also right. So that is why I am taking mirror and then I am selecting this pocket then mirror element is this plane okay see here instead of creating again you can able to get if you want to reduce that uh, wall thickness what you can do you can go for a pocket here you can make it as 33 then you can reduce that thickness of the wall suppose if you want to cut and see at the middle somewhere then we can use one option called dynamic sectioning okay suppose if you click on this tool and then here you will get one plane okay or else uh, you can select the plane wherever you want okay just if i select here see until that i can able to cut that portion see it is having this much of thickness okay so you can able to change that if you want see if you want to rotate you can rotate like this if you want to change the plane you can change if you want to move forward and backward you can move like this okay so like this you can cut so here if you want to unselect this just click on dynamic sectioning so that you will get your object here we have to create some holes okay so here we have holes right this holes we have to make. So now we have to click on hole and then we need to select this face. Okay, then you can give positioning also, right? Just click on positioning and then give dimensions from here to here. I am giving it as 25 or let us say 30 and then from here to here. I'm making it as 20 or let us say 30 then exit workbench 
here you have to give the diameter I'm making it as 20 diameter okay okay same hole if you want here then instead of creating again you can mirror it right you can mirror or uh, otherwise you can create one more hole over here again I'm giving same dimensions okay with the same diameter I'm creating okay see here we have two holes right now instead of creating again two holes over here you can simply select the mirror and then select uh, this hole and this plane okay and then mirror select this hole and this plane okay like this we can make holes both the sides and then if you observe here we have chamfer or here right so I'm making chamfer select chamfer and then distance I'm giving 2 and uh, angle I'm maintaining 45 so both sides will get same I'm selecting all these edges other side also then click on ok ok next here we have fillets right rounds we have to make a rounds over here so for that I'm taking a fillet selecting this edge and this edge radius is 3 mm ok so now we got the shape okay so if you want to hide the planes you can hide your planes so like this we need to create our objects okay so thank you and thank you for watching and uh, making camera doubts into what in the comment section of pinch and d what you can further reply okay Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.